Alright guys, here I got a uh, Kindle Fire HD and I'm going to do a video on it today and we're going to show you guys how to install KitKat or slash CM11 on this device. Um, so let me go through some prerequisites for you. Uh, basically, like I said, this is Kindle Fire HD 7 inch. This is a Tate is the code name for it. So you're going to need to download the CM11 Tate version. Um, and I'll give you links to all that so that's not a big deal. You're going to need to download a couple things. So let's just go into my file explorer. I'm going to show you what I downloaded already. In downloads, right there it is. That's CM11. And I have the KitKat Google Applications. So make sure you have both those files downloaded on your device. Whether you do not download them to your computer and then transfer them to your device, device it really doesn't matter. Um, the other thing that's obviously going to be required for this is you're going to have to make sure you've already got root access on your device. This is uh, root access. And you're going to need to make sure you have second bootloader and um, some kind of recovery system in like Twerp Recovery or Team, team Win Recovery Project. So those are going to be the two things you're going to need um, to actually do this and get everything functioning correctly. If you don't have recovery, you don't have root access, you don't have any of that stuff to do with those prerequisites, please check out my playlist on this device or go to rootjunkie.com which is my site and you'll be able to see um, all those videos there as well with a lot of good links and information. So make sure you follow through those two, uh, should be two videos to get to the point where I'm at at this point and have all the prerequisites met. So go ahead and follow through all those, get that done and you should be running, if you're doing exactly like I am, you're going to be running this stock Kindle Fire which I'll just show you device about right here you'll be on that system version newest system version that I've seen is the uh, 7.4.6 um, it doesn't really matter if you're on that version or not as long as you have those other prerequisites met so from here I'm actually going to use this to boot me into recovery because it works really well this is called fire flash and like I said if you followed those videos you'll have this already installed on your device go ahead and allow it root access you can also get into recovery the old fashioned way by powering down and then when it powers back up just hold uh, volume up until you boot into recovery if you have this already set up. But this is easier so I'm just going to go right down here and you can actually flash from this and actually pick everything and actually right here you can say install zips and actually do a total flash from here. I don't like doing that um, through this just because I really like using the interface of Team Win Recovery Project. So we're just going to say reboot into recovery. And it'll run a little script here, and the device should reboot in recovery. Um, there's your standard Kindle Fire uh, logo right there. Let me turn this thing so you guys can see it. There is the blue Kindle Fire, um, and that means that you have a second bootloader installed when you see that Kindle Fire in blue there. So that's really important. You, you guys should know what that is. There you go. Here's the recovery system. Whoop. All right. So, we're in recovery. First thing you want to do anytime you get into recovery is go to backups and make sure they're all checked. Swipe across and it'll create a backup. I've already done that, so it's right here. Backup will take, you know, five minutes or so to run. But I already have one, did it yesterday. I'm not really worried about doing a backup right now. But if this is the first time you've gotten into recovery, make sure you do an Android backup. So next you're just going to go to wipes. And we can just leave it on this so it'll wipe just the standard stuff. So I'll go a slide across and it'll wipe it. There you go. Go back out. And then we're going to go to installs. And basically what wiping does is it wipes off the app. It, it's like doing a factory reset on your device. Um, so that it has a clean slate to install the ROM. So then we're going to go to downloads. And there's my two files. So I'm going to select the first one. Like I said, CM11. It's got a date on there. It says unofficial. It says Tate. Like I said, Tate is the code name for the Kindle Fire HD 7 inch. And so we're going to click on that zip. Then we're going to add another file. And we're going to click on the uh, Google applications. It says KitKat. And this date on there. And I'll give you links to that too. And it has two files of 10 selected. Now you can go ahead and flash it. And it'll flash both those files to your device. Flashing here, these are not huge files, probably going to take, yeah, I'm going to say like five minutes or so to flash, probably less, but give it five minutes, and we'll come back to it when it's done flashing. Okay, so like crazy, wow, crazy, that was like a minute, pretty much a minute, and it already flashed everything. That was extremely fast. 
Um, so you can hit reboot system right now. You can go back and do some other things in recovery by hitting the back button or the home button. Um, just show you so you can do home and it'll get back here. And, and then you can go reboot and then go reboot system. So you can do some different options in here. Just do any of the stuff in here you want to do, whatever. But you're done flashing the ROM. Oh, that's installed. Let's go back out. Reboot and then system. And that'll get you out of the recovery. Again, you're going to see your Kindle Fire. You're going to see your uh, second bootloader in blue right there. But now, instead of seeing the Kindle Fire boot animation, you should be seeing Saijin Mod 11 boot animation, I think. So let's go ahead and see what we get right here. Saiyajin Mod, yes, that is it. So, first boot up on this, again, takes probably five minutes. If it doesn't boot within five minutes, it could take up to 10. If for some reason you totally mess something up and it doesn't boot at all, you should be able to power off, get into recovery by holding volume up because you have that second bootloader installed, restore your Android backup, and you'll be back and running that Kindle Fire OS, our operating system. So I'm going to let this boot up now that we've seen the boot animation and we'll come back to it and I'll show you guys KitKat on the Kindle Fire HD. Alright, so here you go. We've booted up. Let me just go through the uh, setup here. I'm going to skip through this. This is for logging into, um, what do you call it, Cyanogen Mod. I'm going to skip my Google account for right now So there's some keyboard issues. Might have to change the Google applications I link to you guys and I may if there's consistent issues with the KitKat uh, keyboard. So. Here you go. This is your one screen because it looks like this does have the Google Experience Launcher in it. Um, so if you hold down, yeah, it does. So um, that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and check out your applications really quick. Looks uh, pretty standard. Nothing too uh, fancy in there. You do have your CM File Manager. You have your Terminal Emulator, Apollo Player, DSP Manager, um, all that kind of stuff. And then obviously your App Store and, and all those goodies. Let's go ahead and just really quick check out your pull downs. There's some good information on it. Pull downs there. I'm going to go into settings. And, yep, this looks pretty, pretty standard. So, you can see right here you have your lock screens, your themes, so you can imply themes from Google Play. Download any CM theme and apply it right there, which is really cool. Theming is a lot of fun on these devices. I'm going to go back to the beginning here. This may take a little bit to kind of get it really running smoothly just because it's new and it's just trying to start working on the device. Um, so here's you got some quick panel settings and stuff like that you can do. And that's interesting. My back button seems to be a little bit fickly. Home does function. Let me log into Google and uh, do a couple other things here. I'm going to finish showing you guys this uh, this ROM. Like I said, this is unofficial. It is from Hashcode. A big props to him for putting this together for us. But let me just really quick show you guys. There's performance controls, super user, all that kind of stuff. Let me show you guys what we're running just to show you. There it is, KitKat 4.4. And if you uh, tap on it, there you go. You have the K. You hold down on the K. You should see, there it is, KitKat Android 4.4. Very, very, very cool. Um, it does keep giving me this keyboard, so I'm going to try something. Hang on. Alright guys, really quick there, I took a break there and I found out what's going on with the keyboard. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. When the keyboard uh, keeps popping up at you and doing goofy things, saying there's a force close, a crash, or whatever. Um, my f device tablet here even actually locked up and I had to force power it off and power it back on. But this is what I found fixes it and gets it functioning again. So once you force power back off, power back on, go into settings, go to inputs, and then make sure you have that Android keyboard AOSP checked. Mine is checked at this point. Um, once it's checked, you can back out. And then I was able to go into, you know, different things and get the keyboard working. Just so I can show you here really quick. I was able to go in here and you can see now the keyboard's popping up. Everything's functioning correctly on the keyboard. So just do a reboot after the first boot. Um, make sure that's in settings and set it to AOSP keyboard. And then you'll be functioning fine on this thing. Um, so, so far, so good. Uh, let me just show you on this launcher, it's a little funky. Um, you can't, to add pages, you just got to drag something over to another page. And it adds it. And then if you want to add a widget, there's no widgets in here, it's strictly apps. So you hold down on the screen, go to widgets. And let's see if I can find one. There's one I like right there. There's the clock I like. 
and then you can add a widget like this say always and create and that's how you're going to add widgets and then lastly since this does set up like this you can enable Google now and the way you enable Google now is you go in here you go to Google the little blue application it asks you about Google now say yes you're in this turns on Google now stuff it is pretty sweet last quick thing I'm going to show you guys is obviously um, you know your your volume stuff does function with your volume keys but if you go to and turn off the screen this is going to be your unlock screen and you can see you can launch Google now right there by doing that or you can swipe over here and unlock the device let me just actually launch Google now this way and see so there you go it goes right into Google now and you can do your your stuff um, and then another thing I wanted to show you really quick is I want to show you guys your power menu so you have your power off your reboot and different modes in there in the power menu which is pretty nice and then lastly I'm gonna test this don't know if it's gonna function or not let's see if it does okay Google doesn't look like it's going to let's just see if I can get it to turn on this way okay Google there you go once you're in there it does function and you can go ahead and do your voice searches and you can see that it is listening to everything I'm saying and writing it down on there a little disappointed it doesn't do it right from the launcher though let's try it again okay Google yeah it's not actually doing it from the launcher so a little bit of improvement there actually installing the Google launcher again might actually make it work it's hard to say um, or even just updating some of your applications and Google applications might even get it functioning anyway there you go that is Saijin mod um, 11 slash KitKat 4.4 on the Kindle Fire HD 7 inch hope you guys like this video um, and showed you how to do it informative for you I'm going to be doing more reviews on this device so please check me out rootjunkie.com follow me on uh, Facebook or Twitter all links everything you're going to need is going to be in the video description down below hope you guys like it Root Junkie out